Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter and today I'm going to do a quick little review video on Element Games Resin Bases. Um, I actually bought these a little while ago um, and what I bought exactly were the 25mm bevel edged uh, resin uh, temple round bases and you get 10 of them. Um, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was 4 or 5 pounds, something like that. It was really well priced, obviously I had to pay for delivery as well. But um, just these little, oh, the lighting is a bit funny, I'll bring it up here. Just these sort of temple ruiny sort of style bases uh, for my Eldar, which I'm slowly painting up. Now I've pre-painted the bases for my Eldar uh, because I came home without any models and I wanted something to paint, so I brought them back. Um, and I love the way they've gone together. Uh, the way, or the way they've come together, sorry, because they just add. I think bases add a big effect to models, and people sort of undersell it. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in a paint job and say that that's the one thing that defines it, you know, how a model looks, but I think the base can bring to life models. Uh, and obviously, with my Space Marines, I do the technique of dunking the uh, PVA the base, dunking them in sand. Uh, which is good. I'm happy with those for that particular model, but I thought with the Eldar I wanted them to be a bit more showcasey. Uh, whereas my Space Marines are to be played on a table. You know, just I wanted you know a thousand five hundred points that I could just go and play. So I haven't spent as much time painting those as I will my Eldar army because I'm trying to work on new techniques and stuff with them. One of which was resin bases and working on those and having something that if I put on a shelf, someone would be like, oh, they're really cool. Uh, even if I know I'm not an amazing painter, uh, which is fine, but I want to paint these to the best of my ability, uh, as opposed to to a tabletop, sort of like, this will look alright on camera, or this will look okay on a table to play a game. Don't get me wrong, I'm proud of what I've done, and some of the models I really, really love. Uh, but I want these Eldar models to be that, just a step higher, that's all. Uh, and for that, I wanted resin bases. So yeah, they're all pre-painted, uh, by me, I mean. Uh, you get them uh, grey, from Element Games. The delivery was great. I actually think it turned up two or three days early, which was really good. Um, and I've only just got around to painting them. So I thought I'd, you know, give a little review and a preview of what my Eldar are going to be standing on. Um, as I'm sure if some of you have been looking at the Twitter page, you'd know what the, the paint scheme I've gone for. Uh, it's this purple with pink highlights, uh, black shirkin, ca uh, shirkin catapults, uh, with a grey face. And, um, and I won, and their right shoulder pad is grey as well. Uh, I did this because I thought it looked really cool. It kind of looked mysterious, and I was going to come up with an interesting fluff. I haven't gone around to that yet, but I will do. And I wanted these kind of arcane temple bases, that kind of old style look, as if they were, you know, mystical. And um, I think they've come out really well. I am going to take some better pictures with my camera and put these at the end of the video so you can get a better look. Um, and I will see if I can find one with Eldar models on it as well, so you can get a look with the model too. Um, but yeah, I just this is more of a product review for Element Games, and I've got to say, really good quality bases. No two were the same, which was fantastic. There were ten individual casts, if you like, so I was really pleased with that. Uh, the quality is good. There's a little bit of flack on the edges, but you can scrape that off with a hobby knife, and it looks perfect. Lovely to paint. Uh, the models look good on them as well. So, yeah, top marks. I'm definitely going to be buying a lot of um, a lot of my special bases, especially for the Eldar, uh, from Element Games. That, that is for sure. So uh, I will leave a link in the description below to their website. Uh, not just their whole website in general. I'll leave one for that. But I will also leave one for the, my specific bases, the one that I picked up, ones that I bought, uh, in case you like the style and you wanted to find them a bit easier. Um, so, yeah. This has just been a little review for them uh, and their products. Uh, I think they're really great. I would recommend using them. And obviously with the quick delivery time, I was very impressed. Uh, so it's been me, Callum, from Tabletop Banter. Please don't forget to like and comment below if you've used Element Games or a different uh, base manufacturer, or resin base manufacturer, I should say, uh, and you would recommend them to me if I have any future projects or when I have future projects. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, like if you enjoyed the video, comment about me if there's anything you want me to do differently or anything uh, you want me to cover in the future. And please subscribe because subscribers are the ones who are driving me to make more videos.
uh, because I really enjoy it and the uh, recognition for my videos in terms of subscriptions etc is really exciting me to keep producing content. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and don't forget, have fun.